Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Drew here from Lone Fox, and today's topic of conversation is organization. That actually rhymes. Topic of conversation is organization. I should be a rhymer. Actually, I shouldn't be. Um, but yeah, we're focusing on organization today, which honestly is a topic I really don't touch too often on on the channel, and I'm just keeping it fully transparent and real with you guys. I am just not somebody that is super organized myself, but it is something that I really want to start implementing into my life. Now that my entire apartment is done, the design is beautiful, and it's all just kind of worked out, I kind of want to go back through each space and implement a little bit more organization into each space, starting off with the kitchen. That's what I'm sharing with you guys today. I actually already went ahead and filmed all of these tips, and they are so, so good. And normally, I sit down and tell you guys and kind of voice my opinions on these tips, but I actually walked you through the steps of absolutely all of them. I'm going to share with you guys all of the tips and tricks I did from start to finish, and I really think you can gain a ton of info from this video, especially if you have a small kitchen or you just want to do a little bit more of a reorganization in your kitchen space. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive on into our first tip here, which actually also includes today's video sponsor, which is Blue Land. When I received my Blue Land products in the mail, you guys, I was so excited. I'd never been more excited to see cleaning products on my doorstep. And this first tip is really all about how cleaning and organization really go hand in hand. And having the products that you need for your home that are functional, that are useful, these are also sustainable and they're also beautiful products at the same time. Really a win-win in every scenario just makes the process so much easier. All you have to do is simply fill your forever bottle with warm water and then drop one of the tablets into the water bottle. Wait a couple of minutes for the tablet to dissolve and you are good to go. Unlike your traditional liquid cleaners that are actually sold in single-use plastic plastic bottles, Blue Land has everything you need to clean your house or your hands in a nickel-sized tablet, and on top of that, they use no single-use plastics in any components from bottles, tablets, wrappers, and even shipping. And if that didn't intrigue you enough, Blue Land is also EPA certified, and their products are all vegan and cruelty-free. I actually ended up getting the Clean Essentials Kit, which comes with a glass and mirror cleaner, multi-surface cleaner, bathroom cleaner, and foaming hand soap. And I'm sure you want to know if they work or not, and guys, they work great. The cleaners are incredible, and the hand soap smells absolutely amazing, not to mention the packaging is really great as well. So instead of buying individual cleaning products or hand soaps, you might as well get yourself a Blue Land kit, you guys, which is already a 20% savings. But on top of that, they actually gave me a 20% off coupon for you guys. So use code LONEFOX at checkout and the link is at the top of the description box below. to tip number two, you guys. This one is probably one of my favorites in the video. I love this one so much. So as you can see, I am building something here. This is an over the toilet storage kind of organizer, but I'm going to be utilizing this in my kitchen. You're going to see exactly how in a second. So as you can see, my trash can is in this kind of open space here. There's a ton of empty space above it as well. So I found this over the toilet storage organizer on Amazon, and it basically kind of pressurizes from the floor to the ceiling. So I applied both of the vertical rods, as you can see like this, and then all you have to do do is simply pop in your trash can. So I'm popping mine and this is a new one upgraded to a little electronic trash can. And I am then going to go ahead and add in our first shelf here. So all you have to do is just kind of expand the shelf to the width that you want to use it as. And then you're just going to screw on the little kind of tightening adjustment on the side. I popped two baskets on top of my first one there because I knew I wanted to have a couple of exposed storage baskets. I love how this solution is exposed as well because everything in my kitchen is full on cabinetry. So it's nice I have this little bit of exposed, but it's also hidden behind the refrigerator. But I will say one of the main reasons I built this was actually for that air fryer. It had zero storage. It was sitting on top of the counter or it was sitting on top of the washing machine when it didn't have space in the kitchen. But now it has its own little space over here in the corner and there's a ton of additional storage on top of still having trash can access at the bottom. Okay, I had to pop on camera because I am obsessed with this bathroom organizer over in this corner, you guys. It just provided so much more storage. It's also super accessible, and I like that it's open storage because my entire kitchen is closed storage. So I like that I can get like a little bit of cuteness over here with the baskets. We have the air fryer up there, which we are constantly using, but it's too big for the countertops in here. So it's nice to be able to store it up there. And then of course the trash can's just at the bottom. So honestly, a great use of space and a pretty affordable storage solution. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I always find it a little annoying having to dig through a drawer to find the proper measuring cup or the measuring spoon that you're looking for and you can't find the quarter cup or the quarter teaspoon. I'm gonna share with you guys a little tip that I saw on Pinterest to make this so much more simple. So starting off with a couple of command hooks, I'm going to take these out of the packaging and simply take off the little sticky part of the command hook and put it on the plastic part of the command hook. And we are going to be applying these onto the inside of one of your cabinet doors. So I'm just measuring out a spacing that works for mine. Mine happens to be 12 inches wide, so every two inches I'm going to be applying a hook. 
Now erase the line that you created with your pencil and slip on all of your measuring spoons. This is gonna make it super easy to access and it also closes perfectly. Just make sure that your hooks and your spoons are in an area where it has a little bit of space to still close. You don't wanna, of course, close that on a shelf or anything like that, but they're easily accessible. And I'm sure you guys guessed it. We are gonna be repeating the same exact process for those measuring cups a little bit higher up. So I'm just gonna add four hooks across since I only have four measuring cups and just place them on our hooks like that. And that's how I finished off my little measuring spoon, measuring cup door organizer. And I'll make sure to link the original from Pinterest in the description box. Now I'm sure a lot of us are using trash bags quite often, so I wanna make the process a little bit more simple for you guys. I actually did this a while back, but I did a method that was a little bit more DIY. However, I found this Amazon paper towel holder super affordably, and this is a great renter-friendly option because it actually comes with a peel and stick. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel and stick on this little mounting square here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just mount this on the inside of the underside of my sink cabinet. Now, once I have this mounted on there and you slip your garbage bag roll on, you could simply just pull them off. It dispenses them really nicely and easily and you have a lovely little garbage bag dispenser. And now that I'm thinking about it, you guys, you can also totally do this with your aluminum foil, your cling wrap, your parchment paper, and kind of have them all stored on the inside of maybe a pantry door or a cabinet as well. All right guys, so this is our spice drawer. As you can see, there's a bunch of different spices in here and nothing is very coordinated. Everything's a different canister, different brand. So what I thought was to swap all of the spices out for spice jars with really cute labels on them. So let me share with you guys the ones I got. These are the jars. I got these on Amazon. You get all of these, I think 24 of them for like 24 bucks. I'll link below the exact one that I got for you guys. And these actually came with labels as well. Here are the labels. I actually had no idea that it came with labels. I was planning on having to design my own, but these are so cute and they literally came with the jars themselves, which is so nice. They're already printed. There's this style here. They also give you this style that kind of goes in the lid. And then lastly, there's also a clear style if you just want like the name of it in white on the side. However, I think this one's really cute. I'm gonna go ahead and utilize this one for the jars. So let's start transferring all the spices over and then adding these labels on the jars. So let's get started. It's super simple, you guys. All you have to do is take the paper label off, put it on your brand new spice jar, and use the funnel that it comes with. Whoever created this kit here from Amazon, which I'll link below for you guys, genius, truly a genius, because they thought of everything. You get the jar, you get the funnel, you get the label. It's really everything you need. So all you have to do is just go ahead and rejar your spices, put the label on, use the funnel to kind of funnel the spice into the jar, and then transfer it over. That is really all. I don't know what else to say about it, other than it being a little time consuming but you guys, it really is so worth it. Once you have all your spices back in the drawer, the way that they look is just so much better. The aesthetic, I just love the way that these spices look in here. I feel like the colors pop more and it just makes me wanna honestly go into the spice drawer and use them more often. Who else hates their stove gap? Who else hates the gap between their stove and the counter? also known as a stove gap. When the food falls into it, absolutely not. So these stove gap covers, which I found online, are freaking incredible, you guys. All you have to do is cut them down to the width that you'd like them to be and simply insert them into your stove gap. Just have the little kind of plastic piece go down into the actual gap and then overlapping is gonna be this kind of silicone material that clings to both the counter and the oven. And I gotta say, I saw a girl on TikTok share this a couple weeks back and I cannot remember her name. I scrolled right past it and then I ordered it on Amazon the next day and I cannot find her tutorial anywhere, but this is a stove gap cover and you guys, you need them. Now I am totally late to the game with this one. As you can see, this is our pantry area. This is the only pantry area Marie and I have, and we really don't have too much food. So what I wanted to do was actually just transfer all the food that we do have into really pretty canisters. So I picked up these glass canisters online. I transferred everything from cereal to lentils, to oatmeal, to chia seeds, to granola, rice, pretzels, really any dry good you could transfer to a canister like this. And it just makes, first of all, the food look so much more pretty, as you could see, as opposed to having like the traditional brand of the boxes and stuff. I really do like the glass and how you can see the food inside. So once I had all of that dry food transferred over, I also got some of these refrigerator bins at Target, which are just little plastic bins that fit perfectly. And inside of these, I actually just packaged together like like foods. So this one has all boxed kind of foods inside of it. I also did one that had more pouch style foods. And then I also did one for cans as well. So then I just went back into my little pantry here and just reorganized everything in this area. And it looked so, so much better. I love the way that it turned out. 
The pantry area is complete and it looks incredible. Now, if you guys do not believe me, this is our only pantry area is here. We don't have too much food. And that's honestly because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I order a lot of food. I'm not a huge cook, but I do have just like snacks here and there. A lot of this is Marie's. She definitely cooks a lot more than I do, keeping it real. But I think this just looks so much better and it'll be perfect for us when we add new food or just need to kind of replenish things as well. I made sure some of the back stock up here was available in case we wanna replace some of the jars as well down here. I love the canisters. I like how you could see the food. Food, and then everything's very organized. You could pull down the bins and kind of get into them if you need to. Yeah, I think this looks really nice. Across the way from the pantry is our cup storage. Now, as you guys can see here, we have just thrown cups in here. There's glass cups, there are mugs, there are wine glasses, champagne coupes, there's a ton in here. So what I wanted to do was just honestly go back through this and kind of reconfigure the shelves in here to make it a bit more practical. So I started off by pulling out all of my mugs, all my glasses and cups so we can relocate one of the shelves down a little bit further. The mugs really didn't need that much space above them and I was able to really maximize how much shelving space I got. So I also popped in this little wine glass holder I found on Amazon. I love that. It just slips over the top of that third shelf, which I really can't even access the top of that anyways. So once I finished this up, I basically had my fancier cups on the top here, which include those blue glasses and wine glasses. On the middle shelf, I had my mugs. And then on the bottom shelf, we had just our everyday glasses that we typically reach for pretty often. And that's how I reorganized my drink drawer. I just wanted to share with you guys that cool wine rack holder and kind of some tips and tricks on reconfiguring shelves. My refrigerator is a space I really haven't put much love into, so I decided to go ahead and just give a little bit of a reorganization here. So this one's just kind of like an organize with me tip, as I'm sure a lot of you guys probably already have pretty organized refrigerators, but I just used a couple of those plastic refrigerator bins from Target once again to add some fresh produce into them. And then in the doors, I actually ended up adding a lot of our drinks and beverages. And on the bottom left side of the door, I added a lot of sauces and um, jams and things like that. On the top, I went ahead and did juices on the right, milks on the left. And the middle section is all fruit and vegetables and then on our bottom shelf there's a lot of random things honestly and then in the side door on the right it's just again sauces and such For my last organization hack, I wanted to share with you guys how to make your very own tea drawer. I actually had this really tiny drawer on the left side of my oven and some of these wood pieces from the Dollar Tree. Now they were a little bit wider than um, the drawer itself, so I ended up going at a diagonal, but I'm gonna utilize that space in the front there you're gonna see in just a second. So I'm just slipping in my little wood pieces and using scotch tape to just tape them into place. Once I have the spacing correct, I can just go ahead and add all of my tea bags. In the front, I'm adding some stevia, and that, you guys, is my tea drawer. Now I know a lot of other people have very impressive of tea drawers, but don't worry, I'm gonna start collecting more. I'm gonna have to probably convert to a larger tea drawer soon, but this is my mini tea drawer organization hack for your kitchen. And that, guys, concludes today's kitchen organization video. I really hope that this gave you some insight or some organization tips, or even just maybe you got in the mood to organize after watching this video. I know that whenever I see someone's organization video, it really puts me in the mood to start organizing. I get so inspired, I have so many ideas, and I just realize that I have too much junk and not enough space. Isn't that like a space back line or something? I don't know. But yeah, if you guys would like to see more organization content from me, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I could totally implement more of that here on the channel for you guys. And it's definitely something I wanna start doing more myself and be a little bit more stern with myself and just like make sure that things are organized, my home stays organized, and I actually keep up with my organization methods because you can always start them, but after a couple weeks, it's hard to, you know, like continue doing so. So I'm really trying to stay on track and just make sure everything stays organized, cleaned. It just makes life a lot easier, honestly. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today. Today's video it means so much to me and also I want to thank today's video sponsor as well blue land for kindly sponsoring this video I absolutely love their cleaning products so beautiful and honestly very effective as well a perfect product something that's pretty and effective I'll have the link to them in the description box below if you guys like to find out any more information and I'll catch you all in my next one bye guys <laughs>